Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo to Wii. In the last episode, we uh, almost got done with Hillfire Peaks. There's two more jiggies left for us to do uh, that we have to pick up. And the first thing we're gonna do in this video is warm up Saber Man. I say, any chance of a little heat? You want more Fire Axe? That's fine with me. There we go. Apparently, you need three. <laughs> That's so much better. By the help of an old hero. Being frozen for so long has tired me. I need a cup of tea and 40 wings. Could you possibly help me uh, just one more time? Of course, this sounds like a job for you, Banjo. Can you carry me back to my tent? It's over on the fiery side of the mountain. It hasn't burned down by now. No, it's still there. So yeah, in order to uh, actually get Saberman back to his tent, we're gonna need to carry him around in the taxi pack. So, let us... Uh, now let's get back to Banjo. That's actually all I'm gonna do um, for the rest of Hillfire Peaks. We're not gonna need Kazooie anymore. I could pick her up, uh, but there's really no point because we can do the last stuff with Banjo, I'm pretty sure. So, let's pick up Saber Man. And then we can head back to the fiery side because as you might remember, uh, we uh, we saw a stand on the way um, on the way to the fly pad on the fire side, close to the entrance. So that's where we're gonna go. Okay, come on. Might actually warp. I might have actually warped to the wrong warp point. I didn't read. I just picked the first one. Okay, it's the right one. And Saberman's stand is over here. So. Let us uh, drop him off right here. There we go. My tent, my equipment is just as I left it all those years ago. It's probably worthless anyway. My treasure is still here too. You may have it, kind sir. It's a fine golden jigsaw piece. No use to me, I'm hanging up my boots. <laughs> so, yep, that leaves us one more jiggy to get. Uh, wait, where is it? Is it on the other side of your tent? Yes, it is. <laughs> wow, 70 jiggies already. We're only getting on up there, aren't we? So, the train station should be up there somewhere, so... First of all, we're just gonna warp up there. That's the last jiggy we're gonna have to pick up, but I'm not sure if you can take the, th if you can take the train as Banjo by himself. Uh, you know what, just to make sure I'm gonna get Kazooie. Because usually, if you take the train, you leave the world. Even though we're staying inside the world this time, I don't think you can take the train without her, so... Let's get Kazooie, uh, <coughs> let's get to Kazooie to the fiery side as well. I kind of forgot how we get up to the train station, but I'm pretty sure we just go over here. At least that, that's what we... Yeah, it's over here. <laughs> it's not that hard to find. What are you complaining about? All falling into the lava, maybe. Oh well. So here we go. Now that that we cooled down the train with uh, with Gobi's help, we can actually take this to the icy side. And like I said in the last episode, all there is in the icy side train station is a jiggy, and there's no other way to get to it. You have to take the train to get there. So well, let's use the train. This is probably the last time we're gonna we're gonna use the train. So. Take a good look at it while you can, because after this we're not going to be using it anymore. Because the last world doesn't have a train station. Which is not surprising, the last world is up in the sky, so... <laughs> to be honest, I'm not l really looking forward to that world that much, because I'm not really that familiar with it, and there's a really annoying Jiggy in there, which is my least favorite Jiggy in the entire game.
Also, that uh, that Jinjo that you heard is a Minjo, in case you were wondering. We already got all of the Jiggies in this world, so... Let's go outside, inside the uh, Icy Side train station. I really like this train station. It looks, it looks awesome. But I think in order to get to the Jiggy, we actually want to climb up here. And head through this door. Yeah, you just gave yourself away. Stupid Minjo. And there's our Jiggy. And if we check our totals... That is 100% for Hillfire Peaks. So, I am going to end it off right here. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you later. Okay, and we are back. That video was a little bit short, so I might as well just keep going. Uh, what we're gonna do for the rest of this video is head back to uh, Jolly Rogers Lagoon. Because we can now finish up our backtracking. Now we have the uh, the glide move from Hillfire Peaks. And after that, we're pretty much ready to start the last world of the game. Can you believe it? Uh, did I get the Jiggy out here? Or the Jinjo, I mean. I guess there's a Jinjo here and I think I never got it. No, I didn't. Wow. Glad I'm out here checking. <laughs> yeah, you can... <clears throat> you can use the clock line boost to get to a Jinjo there, but I forgot to do that. I should have done that when, before I entered Hillfire Peaks, but oh well. The clock line boots are back here, so... That's what those were for, in case you were wondering. So, let us use these to get to the last Jinjo of the Isle of Hags. And that is our last... Well... That's 100% for, uh, for the overworld, actually, so... Now that we have that, let us enter Jolly Rogers Lagoon. And most of the stuff we got to do in Jolly Rogers Lagoon, uh, we're gonna have to do it as Kazooie, so... Oh, back with the lag on this first area. For some reason, this place, like with the holes, lags, I don't really know why. It's like in the original game, so there's not really anything I can do about it. So what we want to do with Kazooie is we want to take her over here into this uh, passage that we opened all the way back in... Like episode 20, I believe it was. I forgot. We can go down here and this will lead us to the uh, Smuggler's Cavern. We've seen this, but we haven't really seen the uh, part that's above the water. As you can see, there's a Jiggy over there. And we're gonna get to that by uh, by gliding, so... That leaves two more Jiggies in this world, one of which we cannot get until we get to World 8. Uh, same thing goes for the last Jiggy, uh, Jiggy in Pterodactyl Land, and the last two in Grunty Industries. Except for that, there's only the ten Jiggies in the last world, and then we'll be done. If I'm counting right, I hope I didn't miss any. I'm pretty sure we got every other Jiggy there is so far, so... Then the next thing we want to do is we want to head over to Mumbo Skull. Let's switch to Grenade X. Because, um... Also back in, like, episode 20, I there was a sign that said uh, something about the beach and Skull. Uh... What you do with that is you uh, can blast a wall in Mumbo Skull here, and this will lead you to the beach, so... The reason why I didn't do this before is because we're gonna need Kazooie's hatch move for this, and obviously we didn't have that when we were here the first time. Hi! <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, we have a familiar face from Banjo-Kazooie here. Oh, I don't know what to do. It seems to be the problem, tipped up. It's my baby, he's about 30 weeks late. Yeah, can you help? Can't you just sit on it and hatch it? I'm a reptile, not a bird. He's supposed to get out himself. Well, I suppose we could hatch it for you then. Hmm. That reminds me, speaking of hatching, I think there's also something in the Isle of Hags that I still need hmm. to do. There's a yellow egg that I, that I still have to hatch. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wait, something looks odd. Oh no, he's upside down. 
You mean he stepped up? <laughs> That's not funny, please help him. So we just uh, use our, uh, our wing attack. Oh, that's much better. I found this buried in the sand. It's yours. Now come along, son. I'll, son, I'll take you to beat. Whoa. That one where I skipped by that a little. I skipped through a little too fast there. Whoa. You're crazy. A baby can't even keep up, man. So let us grab our Jiggy, and there is one more thing we need to do in here. There's still a Cheeto page I need to pick up. Which is uh, all the way in Atlantis, so let us get Banjo back and uh, get over there. I hope I'm still gonna have time to do the uh, stuff in uh, the Isle of Hex. I'll probably need to warp to that because I'm at 11 minutes right now. We'll get it in this video because if I don't, I'm gonna forget about it. It's not really that important either, unless you're like interested in the uh, multiplayer stuff, which I can't do anyway. Because I don't have a second controller. So back in that's I don't I don't want to warp. Back in uh, Atlantis here, there's this uh, there's this building over here. As you can see, it has a Kazooie face on it. And the only thing that's in here is a uh, is a Cheeto page, like I said, so that's why I didn't open it up before. You can actually get this without uh, the glide move, you can use Banjo's double jump if you want to get this early, but... I didn't feel like it back then, you might as well get this the way uh, you're supposed to get it. There's no way in sequence breaking a Cheeto page. Unless it's like the one in, uh, in Pterodactyl Land that I clockwork, because it takes so long to get to, this is so out of the way, dude. How did I fall for that? Being silly. So yeah, as you can see, there it is. Right over there. So let us use our... Well, I didn't get enough height out of that. We might actually... Oh, we don't even need a glide move for this. We can just do this. So I could have come back to this place after... Like world 6, but... Who cares? Anyway, now I'm gonna meet you back at the uh, the uh, egg shed in um, with the giant egg in the Isle of Hex. I'll be right back. Whoops! Something else I forgot to do. I forgot to talk to Cheeto. <laughs> Great! You got enough pages for me to tell you a new secret cheat. Five times. Spill the beans. Hand over my precious pages first. So we're gonna get our fourth cheat here. And there's one more after this. My fourth cheat is honey bag. Got it? Well, that's all the cheat I can give you for now. If you find any more pages, you know where to find me. So now I'm going to meet you back in the uh, in the giant egg. Okay, and we're back in here. Um, as far as I know, uh, I did not hatch the uh, the yellow egg that was up here. Yeah, it's still there. So let us hatch this now. Now that we can hatch it as Kazooie, we don't need Haggy anymore. Thank God. <laughs> Cluck, special Haggy Egg Award, Jinjo as multiplayer character. Cluck, who is Jinjo? <laughs> yeah, that's all you get, so... Uh, right now, uh, the last thing we're gonna do in this video is go back to Maya Hem Temple and enter that uh, cheat that we got. I'll, I will meet you there. Okay, and we're back in the code chamber, so it's time to enter that uh, last cheat that we got from Cheeto, which was uh, Honeyback. Uh, would you get out of my way? Uh, I hate it when they do that because the the actual the homing actual make it like hit a different letter. That really sucks. And like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of this cheat because it really breaks the game in my opinion. And you're gonna see what I mean when we get it. C and K. There we go. The honeyback cheat will automatically replenish your energy over time. And the problem I have with this cheat is that it refills your energy so fast that you pretty much can't die. So I'm only gonna keep this on for uh, the last world just to show it off. Of course I am going to turn it off for the final battle, but yeah, if you get hit... As you can see, it will automatically refill your health. But it refills it so fast, it's not even funny. 
So yeah, in the next episode, we are going to start off the last world. And it's gonna be awesome. So, I'll see you then.